Well, they're not here. Hello, everyone. I am the Moy Chicken, and welcome back to more Secret of Evermore. Horus and Madronius aren't here. Um, I thought this is where I would need to go. The water isn't here as well, so they were telling the truth about there being a tunnel. Which, I guess, cleared up the water. Maybe I go somewhere else. So let me check the other places I can go on the west side here. Um, yeah, in the last episode, we fought the giant robotic head that was apparently underneath the diamond not or the the dog statue um that doesn't look helpful uh and um it was a sort of boring fight as is often the case with a lot of the boss fights in this game it's just kind of i don't know it's the game is fun but the boss fights are kind of lame so what are you gonna do but um and now we were told that there was a uh something happened over here and it looks like the water has drained so maybe i'm on the right track Let's see. Blip, 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 blip. Go here. So I guess maybe now I'm supposed to explore this new area, I suppose. Oh, don't poison my dog, you poop. Um, wait, no. Cure is the one that fixes status ailments. Right. Here we go. Um, yeah, I guess, well, there's a cave right there. Let's go check that out, I guess. What have you, cave? What lies within the cave? That! Scary goblins! Oh no! What are these? They're oglins! Oh no! Dreaded oglins! Lurking in the dark! <laughs> They're like, why are you in our house? Why are you in our house? It was submerged! Uh, what is this? Uh, it's, a, it's a teleporter. Oh. I'm here now. What? Oh, more Oglins! Uh. Okay, so I guess I just this is just a dungeon now. All right, well, let me switch back to my sword. I was doing better with it. Ha! I I did not remember this part of the game at all. I thought that this was gonna bring us to a cave, actually. Um, what are we supposed to be doing in here? Fighting Oglins and this dude, I guess. Uh, maybe? Okay. Did we- did we pass through here when we first came into the- the pyramid? I don't remember this at all. Is this an area that I could see and I just didn't get to, or is this completely new? I guess I'll explore it. More archaeology is always fun. Oh! He disintegrated into Nectar. Nectar! See, there it said a call bead, but when I got the call- In the last episode, when I got call beads- Or I got a call bead from Horus, he gave me one call beads. It was very strange. In a game that's like, you know, in English, like <laughs> it was made in English, it's odd for me to see grammar- grammar issues. Like, I could see grammar issues in a game that was, like, hastily translated, but this game was made in English originally. <laughs> Why are there, uh, translation issues? Whatever. Maybe he gives you different amounts of call beads? Depending on how you fight the dog statue? I'm not really sure. I don't know. I do know we're not finding very much, though. Can I break this down? This looks suspicious. So let me try and break it down. Break you? No. Can I see through you? No. Okay, well, wasn't a whole lot this way. I guess I'll head back to the middle. <laughs> Explored that. Ow. I really don't like fighting the Oglins, because they, like... They stop just a little bit when they get to you, so they can stab. Which means usually your attack against them misses, and then they immediately stab you. It's actually a very clever way to fight, but it's also frustrating. <laughs> it's fine to be clever if it's me being clever to someone else. It's not fine for the enemies to be clever. That's annoying. So I say the nay, Oglin! Ow. Ooh, danger. Um, which one is this? A heal. 
Oh. I like this song. The music of this game is just really neat. Like, it's it's so different, I think. It's so different from soundtracks of the time. I like that. I like that a lot. It's very atmospheric. I've already mentioned that, but I'm going to say it again, because I still like it. <laughs> Alright, well... More son of... What were these things called? Son of Sekhmet or something? What are you called? Son of Anhur. I don't know who Anhur is. I Like, there's a, um... There is... I think I've talked about this before. There is a uh, graphic novel called Pantheon that is kind of like a comedic retelling of the, uh... the mythology of, uh... of Egypt... And, um, as a result of that, I kind of... Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? I can't get past this. It's like a thing. Just a thing here. Let's see you later, thing. Guess I'll come, that, come back there later. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like a comedic retelling of the uh, myths of Egypt. And, um, as a result of that, I know a lot about, like, Egyptian gods and goddesses. But I don't know Anhur. Not one I'm familiar with. I found a biscuit. Okay. Was that what I did all of this for? For that biscuit? Did I just... <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? Why am I here? <laughs> what is the pur pur purpose of this? Ow! Stop! Sheesh. Did I even need to come in here at all? Was this a fool's errand? Um... Get out of here, son of Anhor. I feel like I should be able to go through here, but... How? Um... Maybe there's really no reason for my, me to come here. Alright, well, let's leave again. Maybe this is not where I'm supposed to be. I thought I was supposed to go in that cave. I don't know why they'd introduce a cave and then not have you go into it. Let's look around some more, I guess. Hm. Bye, dudes! Oh, no! Deadly bye, dudes! Get out of here! Get out of here, son of Set! You weird pumpkin headed freak! He's like, wow, man, I was born this way. Stop it. Oh, wait, there's just an area I can go up here. I can just go up here. Oh. Look where I am. Oh, I'm dying. Hang on, I'm dying. Fix this. Currently poisoned. Currently dying of poison. BRB. This cool statue. Did I miss something? Hang on. I don't think I went down and checked this statue before. I hope I didn't miss, like, a secret or something. It's up here. Oh, hello. Mad monks. I just jumped in a hole. Um, <laughs> I guess I was supposed to do that. Ah, ah! Ooh! Now I'm in the dark. Okay. Now we're in the dark. Okay. So this is a darkness maze. I'm sure you've encountered one of these before in a video game. This is another one. Unfortunately, somewhere in the darkness of this darkness maze is an alchemy formula. And if I accidentally go through the wrong teleporter, I will completely miss that alchemy formula. <laughs> and I'll be upset. So here's hoping I can find my way to the alchemy formula. And as you might expect, unless you're familiar with this area, 
It's not easy to find. There's no indications of it. It's just one more place. Ay, ay, ay. Um. Also, there are Oglins everywhere. They're kind of a pain. What's up here? Ugh, Oglins! Leave me alone! Ow, I'm dying! There's a rat up there. We'll see more of those in a while. Eh, well, I guess we saw those in Colosia. Never mind. Oh, stop. Ah, stop. These things are so frustrating to fight. I will admit, I, I, I will always love weird little creatures in, in shawls in video games. Like, it's a, it's a fun enemy type to have, like, a spooky monster in just, like, a shawl. I like that. They're like, but they're also annoying. <laughs> they're also kind of annoying to fight, so. Not wild about that part. Um. Still wandering in the dark. I'm just somewhere in the darkness. Gotcha. Uh, nope. Nope. This looks suspiciously like the right way. I don't know. It looks a lot like the right way. This ground, this ground texture makes me think I'm heading in the right direction, and I don't want that. So I shall turn about. And return from whence I came. Ow! Stop! Everything down here just needles at you. It's very frustrating. Ow! Especially the Oglins who attack you with a rather pointed and large needle. Ow! Stop it! Ah. Annoying creatures! Ow! <laughs> just, ugh, so frustrating. They're just like, poke! And then they run away again. Poke! They fight like a player would. <laughs> they're kiting me. That's what they're doing. They're kiting me, I think. I think that's the term. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Okay, that's that teleporter. This leads back to the beginning. Could I go down here? Yeah. Where's this lead? <laughs> yeah, there's some particularly frustrating darkness mazes in video games. If you've ever played the game uh, East, like East 1, um, there's a darkness maze in that game, which is such a pain. Really not a fan of that place. Alright, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I want to say that once you find the right teleporter, it's, um... Oh. Okay, what's this place? Just a little little spot. Okay. Once you find the right teleporter, the, the guy's like right there. So you don't exactly have to work very hard to get where you're going once you um find the right direction. But I don't really remember exactly where he is. But yeah, in uh in East One, there's like a part where you have to go into like this mine, and um it's what what is this? Got three parts oil. Cool. Glad I went there. Um, yeah, like, you actually have to go in there twice. The first time you go in there is for, um... Yeah, well, I think the first time you go in there is to look for a silver harmonica. And then I think later on you have to go in to actually do, like, plot. I mean, the silver harmonica's plot, too, but, like, a, it's, like, a significant part of the plot later on. Um... 
and it's tough. It's it's a lot of a uh, it's a lot of wandering through the dark, a lot of big strong monsters in that game. Actually, here's a question: Would would people out there be interested in seeing me either play through or stream uh, East One and Two? Because I have East One and Two on the uh, Turbo Graphics CD, and it's a it's a much more I think it's a better version of the game than the... Like, the first time I played the game, I was on, was on the Sega Master System. And I, I really don't think the Master System version is balanced very well. Apparently, the Master System is balanced differently than all other variants of the game. Um, in, in particular, in the way I think that experience is distributed. I want to say, like, in the Master System version, experience is distributed in, like, a linear fashion. And then in other games, it's adaptive. I think that's the case. Well, we're finding more of this kind of ground. Mmm. Now I'm wondering if I should have gone that other way I found. Ah! These Oglins are the worst. They're so irritating. They just come up and poke you and then run away. It's so frustrating. Stop it! Can I do something to rain hellfire on you? <laughs> you guys are so annoying. That's one way in which I would say that this game is... It, it, this game's magic system is inferior to um, Secret of Mana. Like, you get more ingredients in this. And I think that that's intended to allow you to use your alchem alchemy formulas more often, which is good. Because running out of MP is always frustrating in the game. Um, but it's also true that the alchemy formulas are not terribly robust in this game. You can use them and, like, have, like, nothing happen. You know? Oh, this is the place where I was before. Okay. Well, I don't have to feel that regret anymore, but... I don't know that's going to help me in any way. Yeah, like, a lot of the time, I'll, I'll cast a spell and it will do, like, you know, 17 damage or something, you know? Something just very meager, and I'll be like, why did I bother with this? I don't know. Just a little gripe, I guess. But, a gripe nonetheless. I should tell you what, tell you what, I'm gonna look up where I'm supposed to be going, because we're, we've already, we're already up, it's like 18 minutes, and I want to get this area finished today, so give me a sec. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. Um, that was decidedly not helpful, actually. If there's one complaint I have about the Secret of Evermore strategy guide, which I do like for the most part, it, um, it's written in such a way that is very non-comprehensive. And I think the rationale for that is the same sort of thing they did with Secret of uh, Mana, where the uh, the story is written like a story rather than a strategy guide. And so even though it's got a lot of information, there are some times where it's just sort of like, and then the boy and his dog faced off against the terrible Oglins, and the day was saved, or whatever. Instead of saying, like, you will now fight five Oglins, they have this much HP, blah, blah, blah. And for the most part, again, I like that. I think that's a cooler way to write a strategy guide than the alternative. But if you're trying to find a thing, <laughs> it's very irritating to be told like, and lo, the day the, the battle was joined and the, the boy and his dog prevailed or whatever. You know, it's like I want to try to figure out where I'm supposed to be going, not like trying to read high prose here. Come on. All right, I've already been here before. Um, what's this? I'm probably gonna miss it. I bet. I bet you I'm gonna miss the uh for me. It's not a terribly useful formula. It's more me just wanting to be a completionist about it, because I don't think you can ever come back down here. I think that this is the only time you can jump into the Oglin Cave, so it's just really easy to miss. Like I want to say that the the formula you get here is the one up formula which I believe is kind of like an auto-revive for the main character, which is great, you know, 
if you want to use it. But it uses up like a whole slot, so it's kind of questionable how useful it will be all in all. But we'll explore for a little bit longer and see if I can find it. Um, because I would rather find it than not. Wasn't I just here? Um, it does not help that so many areas down here look the same. I know that they've got minor discrepancies and they're slightly different and whatever, but it's very, very easy to get lost in the Oglin cave. And there are just so many Oglins. There are just so many Oglins in the Oglin cave. Just constantly pickpacking away at your health. Their little, like, dash stab. It's so very annoying. At least they give you nectar. That's nice. It's at least a good prize for beating them, but... What a nuisance. What a nuisance they are. Oh, yes, I was talking about, uh, East. Yeah, like, the, um... I want to say an East, uh... One for the Master System. Which, again, is the, the first way I played it. All of the enemies in the game have uh, specific like values of experience that they give whereas in subsequent versions I believe is the case that um, they give proportional experience points so like as you get stronger you get less experience from fighting enemies or like weaker enemies which eh, makes sense it makes sense especially if you think about wasn't I just here I think I was just here. Yes, I was just here. Okay, let's go back. Um, it makes sense if you think about what, like, experience points are, uh, you know, a mechanism to indicate. You know, this idea of, you know, personal development that a person, like, that a warrior would gain from fight facing off against terrible foes. You know, as, as you're stronger and the fights are less impressive, you're not going to have as much of an impact from that fight. So it makes sense. But, still kind of irritating, you know, to be like, I, you know, I, I want to fight these monsters so I can get stronger, but they're giving me less and less. I, this is a loop. That's a loop. Okay, I just went in a loop. Gotcha. That's a loop. Okay, what's down here? This is a teleporter. Okay. Not helpful. That's a teleporter that leads back to the entrance, so let's not go there. Um, never mind, that's where we have to go. Okay, we're going to take the teleporter that leads to the entrance. <laughs> Let's take the teleport leaves the entrance. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, at this rate, it might work better for us to just cut away until I find it. Ah, it might work better to do that. I hate doing that, though. I hate doing that, but... You know. Might be the most rational thing to do. So, yeah. Okay, Ed, just cut away... When I find the thing I'm looking for, bring us back, and I'll show it off. So, see y'all in a bit. Doggone it! I accidentally got to the boss fight! Ah, no! Alright, well, we're gonna fight this boss fight, and I guess that'll be it for the episode. Hey, everybody. Also, yeah, you might have guessed I am back. I didn't find it. I didn't find it. Did not find the fu Did not find the alchemist. I'm so irritated by this. Dog, are you gonna do anything? He's just, like, hanging out. What is this thing called? Aquagoth, I think? What are you called? Aquagoth. It's Aquagoth! He's into dark clothing. And chains. And the cure. <laughs> Bump. I'm into dropping rocks on his head. I'll just keep doing that. My dog's into just kind of hanging out, really. He's not doing much. He's just chilling. I'm gonna keep dropping rocks on your head. This is working pretty well. Bonk. Bonk. Ah, I hate that I didn't get it. Ugh. Maybe I can come back later. I don't think I can, but maybe I can. We'll see. Again, if it's the, if it's the spell I'm thinking about, all it does is just kind of like revive you if you die. So, it's not... <laughs> I was about to say, it's not terribly impressive. Alright, that's pretty impressive. Reviving you if you die, I get that. But, in the grand scheme of things, it's not as beneficial as it might sound. 
Why am I attacking that tentacle? Attack Aquagoth. He's gonna keep dropping rocks. This is working pretty well. I don't know what my dog's doing over there. He's just hanging out with like a spark. Doing dog things. How you doing, Aquagoth? Feeling good? Enjoying these rocks? Oh, cool. Where does Oglin come? Where'd you come from, Oglin? <laughs> duh, duh. I'm not supposed to be able to move during this part. Alright, I don't think that Oglin was supposed to be there. Hey, kid, get in the bucket! Uh, alright. See you later, <laughs> See you later, little Mac. Oh, look at this fellow. Whoa! I was wondering why my water supply was drying up. That creature must have been the cause of it. It's a good thing that you were down there to fight it off. How'd you get to the bottom of my well anyway? The dog and I were following this underground path. It's really dark down there. There's a bunch of little guys with cloaks. You must have seen the Oglins. They're a crafty bunch, they are. They say the Oglins have two heads and sharp claws, like knives. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that's completely true, but... Say, could you lower that bucket for my dog? He's still down there. Sure thing. Hey, little Mac, get in the bucket! Oh! Little Mac, you're, you're pink. Whoa! Sort of expecting another change, but I sure wasn't expecting this. You're a poodle! Hey! He's a poodle now! He's a pink poodle, and a fine poodle he is too. So, uh, where are we? Why, you're just south of Ivor Tower, the Queen's new castle. If you're looking for answers, the Queen's the one to see. Would you like for me to record your progress? Yep. Yep, yep. Alright, well. See you later. Alright, so we have now reached the, uh, the... No, no, shut up, dude. I'm doing things. I'm trying... No. No, I'm, my dog is sniffing and I must know. Shut up! <laughs> no, shut up! Get out of the way, my dog wants to sniff! What do you got, boy? What is this? What am I doing? Oh, I saved an Oglin. What? Do it again. What is this? <laughs> I've never done this before. What? Alright, well, uh, the, the secret of Evermore. Moe chicken. Bye!